Aiden. Aiden. Jacob. Hi. Okay, so I know that uh, you weren't going to come over until later, but I found a gun, and yeah. You found a gun? Yeah, and it's really cool, and I wanted you to see it, okay? Alright, be there soon. Okay, bye. Hey Jacob, come on in. Hey. So, yeah, it's just, I dropped my toys over here. Check it out, dude, it's super cool. Dude, whose is that? I think it's my dad's. I'm not really sure. Is under the couch? He doesn't really know how to hide stuff that well. You wanna play with it? Yeah, sure. So, do you wanna play cops and robbers? Heck yeah. Can I have the gun? No. I don't dude, care. give me the gun. No, I will- <laughs> In 2015, there were around 300 mass shootings in the U.S. This is a massive problem. We believe that presidential candidates of 2016 should focus on gun control. The rest of our rights are also important. Second Amendment rights are important. But there are other rights that we care about as well. And we have to be able to balance them. Because our right to worship freely and safely, that right was denied to Christians in Charleston, South Carolina. And that was denied Jews in Kansas City. And that was denied Muslims in Chapel Hill and Sikhs in Oak Creek. They had rights to. This president is a petulant child. Whenever he can't get what he wants because, quite frankly, the American people have rejected his agenda by turning both the House and the Senate over to the Republicans and going from 21 governors when he came into office to 31 Republican governors now. Now this president wants to act as if he's a king, as if he's a dictator. Fact is, if he wants to make changes to these laws, go to Congress and convince the Congress that they're necessary. But this is gonna be another illegal executive action, which I'm sure will be rejected by the courts. And when I become president, will be stricken from uh, executive action by executive action I'll take. I was in 1988. There were three candidates running for Congress in the state of Vermont. I stood up to the gun lobby and came out and maintained the position that in this country, we should not be selling military-style assault weapons. I have supported from day one an instant background check to make certain that people who should not have guns do not have guns. Just give me my gun. Sorry, the law requires a five-day waiting period. We've got to run a background check. Five days? But I'm mad now! Yeah. I'd kill you if I had my gun. Yeah, well, you don't. The other side of this argument states that Americans should have the right to bear arms. One of the main supporters of this side is Ted Cruz. So when you get to the Second Amendment, what I say instead of just reciting I support the Second Amendment is I say as the Solicitor General of Texas, I led a coalition of 31 states in front of the U.S. Supreme Court defending the individual right to keep and bear arms, and we won 5-4. Yeah. As a Democrat, do you think that this is a Republican versus Democrat battle? I hope not. Uh, I don't think it is. The issue of violence is definitely not a partisan issue, the issue of violence. I think everybody wants to live in a safe community. Uh, there are different strategies about how to deal with violence. Uh, unfortunately, I do think at the national level, it has become a very partisan issue. No, I do not. But in the realm of things, there's policies, procedures, and laws that Democrats believe, and they try to pursue and push on the public, force you into a way of life. Republicans believe in a free society the market capabilities to make the decisions based upon what is good for everyone. Some people and organizations believe that there should not be any limitations to the Second Amendment. I want to say those fighting words for everyone within the sound of my voice to hear and to heed and especially for you, Mr. Gore. 
from my cold, dead hands. Whatever your opinion is on gun control, whether you're a Democrat or Republican, whether you fully support the Second Amendment or whether you think it should be limited, this is still the most important issue, and we believe that the presidential candidates should discuss this.